Hi everyone, welcome back to Fertility Friday, our educational video series on infertility related topics. Last time we talked about the initial infertility workup and today we'll talk about treatment options, specifically IUI. There are two general treatment options for infertility, IUI and IVF. We will go over the steps of an IUI cycle with this video. Intrauterine insemination, also known as IUI or artificial insemination, is a process where a concentrated specimen of sperm is injected into the uterus. IUI is considered the first line treatment option for unexplained infertility, mild endometriosis, or mild male factor infertility. An IUI may also be recommended in cases where the woman or the couple need donor sperm. Pregnancy success rates from IUI typically range from 7 to 15% per cycle. Couples who are not good candidates for IUI include couples with severe male factor infertility, where the total modal sperm count is less than 5 million, or if both fallopian tubes are blocked. Fallopian tubes must be open in order for the egg and sperm to meet. Couples with these diagnoses should consider IVF or in vitro fertilization. Undergoing an IUI cycle often includes taking medication to stimulate the ovaries to produce one or more than one follicle. Then, injecting the sperm into the uterine cavity so the sperm can avoid having to swim through the cervix and into the uterus on its own. This essentially allows us to put the egg and sperm closer together so they may meet more easily. After this, fertilization and implantation would happen inside the woman's reproductive system on its own, just as if it would if the woman had conceived naturally. Let's go through the process of an IUI in a little bit more detail so you'll know what to expect. First, you'll call with cycle day one or the first full day of full flow from your period. Then you'll come in for blood work and ultrasound on cycle day two to four to make sure you're at the beginning of a cycle and to see if any cysts are present. If everything looks appropriate at this visit, the woman will start taking medication to stimulate the ovaries to make follicles. The number of follicles desired depends on the infertility diagnosis and the woman's age and ovarian function. If the woman has PCOS and irregular cycles, our goal may be to only produce one follicle to replace a process that isn't occurring on its own. If the couple has unexplained infertility or lower ovarian function, our goal is generally two to three follicles. The medication used to stimulate the ovaries could be oral medications taken for five days, a combination of oral or injectable medications, or just injectable medications. The choice of medication will usually depend on the woman's age, her ovarian function, and if any prior treatments have been done. There will be a blood work and ultrasound appointment to assess the ovarian response to medication. Once the follicles reach an appropriate size, usually 17 to 20 millimeters in size, a patient will take a trigger shot, which will prompt ovulation to occur approximately 36 hours later. The male partner provides a sperm sample the morning of the IUI. The sperm preparation usually takes one hour. During preparation, the sperm sample is washed to remove debris, immodal sperm, and substances in the semen that could cause severe cramping in the uterus. When the prep is complete, the sperm cells are highly concentrated into a small volume. The IUI is usually performed around the time of ovulation, 36 hours after the trigger. For this procedure, a speculum is placed in the vagina in order to better visualize the cervix. The processed sperm is then loaded into a thin, flexible, long catheter, and the catheter is advanced through the vagina and cervix and into the uterus. The sperm is then injected at the top of the uterus. The entire process is usually painless, but some patients may experience some mild discomfort. The procedure usually takes just a few minutes and no anesthesia is involved. We will have the patient rest for 10 minutes after the procedure and then they can return to normal activity immediately after. We will often get additional progesterone support following an IUI to help repair the uterine lining for pregnancy. Approximately two weeks after the IUI, we will do a pregnancy test. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give us a like, comment below. You can always follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube under the handle Anu MD. Thanks again and see you next time.